Paul to a tag of Vialoa. There were some reports, I forget if it was like Saturday or whenever it came out, but you know, that the Dolphins might be willing to move on from Tua after one year. Like they're evaluating him for a potential Kyler Murray situation, you know, where they had already drafted Josh Rosen, but you know, Kyler was too good to pass up. Maybe the Dolphins are thinking, oh, Tua's, you know, whatever, maybe we could get Fields or or Lawrence. I, I think that that is major cap, Joey. I think two is the real deal. Yeah, I never believed those reports to begin with. I saw the the same uh, reports that you saw. And unless they secured the number one overall pick, which they won't because they're not as bad as the Jets, they were never going to draft another QB. Two would look good today. I think he's really accurate. He's mobile. As we saw, he had... 40 plus rushing yards in this matchup so he has some rushing ability and i think he has everything you want in a franchise quarterback this man is just a winner and i think his future is bright in miami yeah those reports were bogus uh they're not drafting a quarterback in 2021 absolutely no shot especially if tua keeps on winning them games he's 2-0 he's a certified winner is there any shot that rookie of the year is still up for grabs? It seemed like it was a lock. I think at first it looked like, all right, Joe Burrow, he's producing, he's on track to, you know, re-break Andrew Luck's passing record, which if he does, I think will be a lock for him. That stat alone would make him rookie of the year, but Justin Herbert has captured the eye of, you know, football Twitter of the football cognoscenti. They love Justin Herbert, even though he can't really win a game to save his life. And then Tua now 2-0 and undefeated on a Dolphins team with a legit defense and some decent pass catching weapons. I'm not sure that this race for rookie of the year is, you know, set in stone yet. Yeah, I don't think it is set in stone either. I just think it'll be hard for Tua to win because, you know, he's obviously down seven to eight games as Herbert and Burrow have started basically since the season started. So an eight game head start is hard to come back from uh, for Tua. So it's either Burrow or Herbert in terms of offensive rookie of the year. And I think I would give it to Burrow right now. I think he's the best quarterback in this class by far. Herbert has been amazing. But like you said, they haven't been winning. Uh, Neither has Burrow. But if Burrow breaks records in his rookie year, He's definitely going to get it, but it's going to be a very close and fun race to watch the rest of the season. 